Hey, what's up guys? So I just talked to the owner slash co-owner, I think, of this website, so telescope.live. And this website, um, you sign up on this and you can control several remote telescopes uh, in different locations in the world, like under really, really great and dark skies, so model one. Uh, for example, they have telescopes in Chile and Spain and it's supposed to be very easy to use. So I'm going to try that tonight. Actually, there are several targets that I love that I want to image so bad, but they are so low in the horizon. So for example, I want to image the Bug Nebula, which is NGC 6302. Uh, I've been wanting to image that for a long time. Uh, same for the Cat's Power Nebula, same for the Statue of Liberty Nebula. Uh, those targets are all too low in my sky, so in, in Las Vegas sky, uh, to be imaged from here. I actually could, you know, if I look at the map here, I actually could image um, you know, the Bug Nebula, but it's just a bit too low. Um, it doesn't rise high enough for me for me to image long enough and with no um, disturbance, so no atmospheric disturbance. So if you're not above like 20, 25 degrees in the horizon, uh, you know, the, the gas and the colors go through uh, the Earth atmosphere and it's not, it's not good. So I'm going to try to image the bug nebula tonight. I'm really hyped. Uh, I have enough credits for maybe one hour or two, depending on which telescope I pick and I cannot wait. So NGC 6302, you are mine. <laughs> so I'm going to go to the website right now and here you can, uh, I guess, just press on start observing. And so if I press on start new request, uh, I have a new observing request here. So if I put NGC 6, um, 6302, it's going to give you the coordinates. So I'm going to look at that right now. Okay, so we have the coordinates here. It looked up the, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, the number here on a on a map online, and I can just, I guess, click on continue, right? Let's see. And now I should be able to select the telescope. Those are the telescopes that are available right now. So uh, Chile One is available right now to be used uh, on this uh, particular target and. From this telescope, the target is visible, right? So I'm going to you. I guess I'm going to pick that one because it seems like a, a large enough telescope. And then we're going to go to uh, observation, and here I can input my uh, the time that I want, uh, pretty much everything that I want, uh, customized at my liking. So for example, here I chose to do luminance, red, green, and blue, which I think are good. Uh, filters to use for this particular target, which is a planetary nebula. Uh, this is a really, really uh, bright nebula, so I picked 180 seconds for each exposure. And because I don't have you know, infinite credits, I try to match, uh, I mean, to use most of my credits. And so the credits go down depending on how long you use each telescope, right? So uh, here I picked uh, 10 shots for as luminance four exposure shots for red, same for green, and same for blue. So we have 10, 4, 4, 4. And then binning, I pick just one. And then scheduling. So scheduling, uh, automatic scheduling should um, should take care of everything by itself. So once it's dark enough, it will image it. And as you can see here on the right, um, the total here costs 165 credits. So with this big, big, big telescope, uh, this crazy camera under the Polar 1 sky, one hour and six minutes will uh, cost 165 credits. I tonight for tonight I have 170 credits, so I tried using you know almost everything, which is fine. So we now have um, to click on submit, and now it's going to be. So your request is expected to complete on every 16. Okay, that's in two or three days, and uh, I guess that's it, right? It should be pretty easy. Oh yeah, look, pending. Uh, Chile 1 telescope, and then we have the stats here. Okay, that was, okay, that was surprisingly super easy, so hopefully everything goes according to plan, right? And um, yeah, I guess I just have to wait right now. Oh, I got an email. All right, just have to wait now. All right, guys, so I got an email today telling me that my observing request was all complete, so it's really exciting. Um, I'm going to go right now on the computer and download the data and it's very, very exciting. So here on my account page, I can see all my data 
and I am currently downloading everything, so it's really exciting. I opened up some of the images as a preview and it looks really nice. So here are all the uh, files on Blink, so as you can see, we don't have that many, it's only an hour and eight minutes, but if we go through all of them, there is no planes, no satellite, nothing, and it's really, really awesome. So the amazing thing about uh, Telescope Live is that every time you image an object, the website will automatically calibrate your frames with you know, bias frames, flat frames, and dark frames. So everything um, that you download from the website will be automatically calibrated already. So you don't have to uh, manually download you know, bias, flats, and dark frames and calibrate them later. If you want to, you can go through the uh, gallery and look for the bias and flats and dark frames that are present in there and are often taken by the telescopes and cameras on a regular basis. Uh, that's if you want to, but if you don't want to bother with that, you can simply download your light frames and they will all be automatically calibrated, which is awesome. And here is the final image of the Bug Nebula. Once again, it's only one hour and six minutes in LRGB and I, I am really shocked by how good it turned out with this incredible telescope and camera and sky, of course, and I am so happy. This is officially my very first southern uh, object to be photographed and it's really, really great. So I hope you guys found this video interesting. Um, if you want to try it out yourself, they gave me a coupon, so I'm going to put uh, the code uh, in the description below. So if you want to control you know, a, a crazy telescope yourself, uh, you can do that as well. And uh, I know they will come up with a different dashboard, so an even easier way to uh, use their telescopes. And I think it will come out in mid-September or late September, so um, I might do a video on that as well when it's released. We'll see. So I'll see you guys next time and kiss kiss.